Monday, Monday, Monday. Prepare to get your balls smashed. As K-Pop RC and Hobby Wing to Wreck.com proudly present the Mega Monster Truck Bill. Your toad sensation will be tingling. Prepare to get a roundhouse of awesome in the face. If you haven't seen it before, you haven't seen it yet. Everything's awesome here at K-Pop RC. Don't miss it. Yo, Wicked, on last week's episode, I left you building the Axial SMT Monster Truck build sponsored by HobbyWingDirect.com. Holy balls, that's loud. It's working! Uh, didn't get very far, had some serious technical issues, uh, lag is awful. Serious technical difficulties. Look at this. Look what I... I think that was my birthday, right? I will try my best next time, actually tomorrow, to get that lag under check. Um, come check me out. I'm gonna be shouting out a lot of people. I'm gonna be shouting out the um, scale is <laughs> hashtag. I'm gonna be checking out stuff that I think is cool, future projects um, or potential for future projects, and also updates on the Cletus McFarlane neighbor build. So yeah, stay tuned. Tomorrow, uh, Eastern Time, 9:30 Eastern Time. I'm going live. Come hang out. I'm not gonna give it a goal this time because let's face it. Uh, if I'm trying to build something, it's gonna take a lot longer especially when I'm talking to you guys. So come check it out. Come hang out with me. Wicked. Cheers. <laughs> but now let's finish this SMT build because um, I got to get it out of my hair. Just got to throw it up on a wall and so I can drool over it while I sand and sand and sand some more on the neighbor project. Boom. I'm sorry, the uh, intro of the video is definitely not going to match the energy level of the next 20 minutes, but whatever, man, come hang out build this thing with me and uh, let me know what you think. Let's do it. All right, wow, it's too bright for the camera. All right, Wicked, I left you guys off. Um, working on my SMT uh, monster truck build, the Axial SMT-10, and um, I have the RH, RH Designs short wheelbase kit, so um, uh, these are the sway bars. Um, I've got the Lynx on, I've got the Servo Spectrum S8000, uh, a little bit old, but whatever, it was in the parts bin, why not, works. I've got the um, Vanquish, these are the Vanquish steering uh, stainless Wraith steering arms, whatever, they uh, don't break the bank. And then I also got the Vanquish C-Hubs and also the uh, Vanquish steering um, knuckles. Um, or steering hubs, the ones with the single arm, it's not the captured one because also it didn't break the bank, whatever. I'm gonna continue and add the shocks. Stick with me, let's get this thing together. Uh, I gotta get back to the Cletus build and uh, I'm taking a break from sanding. So, so much sanding. So let's get this monster truck built so I can go put it on a shelf and stare at it while I'm working. <laughs> Wicked. Huge shout out goes to um, HobbyWingDirect.com. If you want a cool ass discount, uh, go check them out at HobbyWingDirect.com and use my discount code KPOPROCKS for a good discount. They sent me this um, awesome X, wait, what is it? The uh, Easy Run XR8 SCT uh, motor and ESC combo, and that's what's going in this uh, monster truck. It might actually be a little bit overkill, so um, I definitely didn't use the stock uh, weak ass axial gears. Um, I am using these um, weak ass uh, Chinese metal, uh, <laughs> at least they're metal, okay? At least they're metal, and uh, the housing is metal. There is no uh, slipper on here though, so I do assume that I might end up burning out some uh, ring and pinions uh, or just maybe even strip out the spur. I don't know. We'll, we'll test it out. We'll see. But uh, it does look like a pretty slick piece and uh, and I think it's going to fit that brushless motor pretty well. So let's let's get to it. Hobby Wing Direct is actually super wicked because they did include a pinion. Um, I mean, it might be an issue because the pinion that is supposed to be in the stock um, SMT is a 14 tooth. And this one definitely looks a little bit 
uh, a little bit bigger, which means uh, more RPM. So this thing's gonna be a lot faster. Whatever, man, let's send it. It's starting to look like a thing. It's starting, uh, starting to look like a thing a little bit. Uh, I can't wait to finish it so I can clean up my studio because my studio is just a <laughs> sty. Look at this <laughs> Crazy. Anyway, awesome. So hobby wing motor is uh, on and uh, I'm starting to get the tray tray with the ESC and the receiver will go in here but uh, I am using a fairly fairly large uh, hobby winged uh, ESC and uh, let me tell you hobby wing takes care of you it really does because not only did this thing come with um, all of the wires that you need to solder it um, and the shrink wrap and the double-sided tape but it also came with a spare cooling motor which uh, I don't think uh, like Castle Creations comes with anything extra, let alone, you know, anything to program or whatever. Um, I did just buy a 20 amp Castle Creations BEC and uh, oh, guess what? I have to spend another $20 to get a Castle Link so I can make it spit out 6 volts. <coughs> that. Um, anyway, Hobby Wing, man, look at this thing, it's pretty sweet. It, uh, it's, it's definitely got a pretty awesome aluminum cap uh, for heat dissipation. Um, it is a censored motor. Uh, the st the, the um, stubs are pretty big. And, uh, and then also it doesn't have a mechanical switch. It has a uh, solid state power switch, which is great. Uh, because uh, I don't know if you guys ever been bashing and you hit your car so hard that the switch actually turns itself off that's happened to me many times yeah but uh yeah it's starting to look really delicious uh now i have to um start on the actual frame of the monster truck and uh also i'm trying to figure out what body to use and I, I'm, I'm starting to really toy with the idea of printing 3d printing some kind of uh, ram like a 80s maybe 70s uh pickup truck style or like maybe a bronco i don't know we'll see maybe i'll get away from the fords and go uh towards the dadges whatever anyway onward wicked this is cool uh it's a good break from the neighbor project because uh yeah let's be real working on the same project too long it's a little it's a little bit much look at this um it does come with a pretty cool supercharged or like a supercharger see let's check it out there's like a wicked supercharger and like uh intake for the top as well um which is just freaking badass man uh i will definitely improve on this but right now let's just get it built and then we'll figure out where it sticks out um if i do add some kind of body maybe i won't end up going with a bronco or like tunnel cover style pickup truck so you, you don't see any of this stuff you gotta see some of it you know what i mean it looks so badass anyway look at these things and i got the cages so i gotta cut out all this stuff and uh put it together yeah boy all right yeah it's starting to look like a thing straight up look everything fits the wires are gonna go up through here to the esc the esc is gonna end up sitting this right here Beauty. Yeah, it's great. Uh, how awesome is that? Right? Looks good. I did the soldering there. You can see I soldered the hell out of it. Um, I kind of tried to keep. I tried to keep the wires like super clean. Look like a jackass. Uh, I kept the wires like super clean. Um, not like my uh, studio right now. It's just this super sty after the live stream. Uh, yes, Harley Designs. What, dude? The man, the myth, the legend. Thanks, dude. I'm um, just trying to get this done so then then I can clean it up. But like um, right now, um, it's weird because the instructions don't talk about like wiring the ESC. So I kind of had to jump some steps ahead to like fit the, the tray that holds the motor and the um, transfer case there, the, the gears, uh, and I had to like kind of 
finagle that to get the wires like nice and tight. You can kind of see how tight I kept them. Um, so yeah, I had to kind of pull that out in order to solder the, keep the solder soldering super neat and clean. And also, um, thanks a lot Hobby Wing for taking care of me. You, uh, you gave me two lengths of censored wire cables. I ended up using a short one, but it did come with a super, super long one, which you can't quite find right now. But you came, it came with one of those, like two, two options. So that's super cool. Um, just like Axial gives you every option under the sun, so does Hobby Wing. Wicked, so um, you can kind of see there, there's the um, uh, transfer uh, or the spur and the uh, pinion and spur combo. Um, the ratio is probably crazy, it probably is not uh, a good, uh, good way of doing it, that's for sure. Um, it might be too much power for such huge monster truck wheels. Uh, I am a little concerned that. Uh, Oh, this is the other side, but yeah, uh, I am concerned that it's gonna um, chew up the drive line, but I guess time will tell. And then as soon as I put this thing together, I am then gonna measure the wheelbase and see how much room I have like up here to fit a 3D printed body. Uh, I'm kind of leaning towards a Tacoma body, which should be super cool, but, um, but yeah, I don't know. I haven't decided yet until I put it together and see sort of how much room I have to fit this cage. I'm not gonna bother like worrying about it, but um, but yeah, as soon as I screw in all the cage, uh, all these like cage pieces, uh, I'm gonna start putting the axles on the body, which I feel like that's kind of like home stretch right there. Overexposed. All right, wicked. All right, man. I think the gauge of how awesome an RC build is, is uh, dependent on how messy your studio gets. And uh, man, it looks like straight up a hurricane made it through here. So uh, one step closer to being a Florida man. Uh, check it out. It looks like a thing. It's so close. Um, I did get a bit of an issue though with the notoriously uh, poor axial shocks. Uh, this little mf -er right here um it won't stop leaking uh, i can't do it like I, I i took it apart i checked to make sure that everything all the all of the rubber o-rings are okay i built it with green slime for god's sake and uh for some reason it just it just whatever fluid i put in there is going to piss out the bottom so um fudge it let's upgrade the shocks because uh these ones are piss poor which is uh i mean they're pissing out the the fluid so uh, why not get ourselves some uh, proline shocks what's cool about these actually is the stock the stock spring fits uh, which is kind of nice because um, I don't know how the dampening or not the dampening how the uh, spring rates compare from the stock to um, the three options you get with the prolines or no, the two options you get with the Pro Line. They have the yellow springs and green springs. But um, you can see on the front here, uh, we got the stock axial shock. And on the back here, we've got a Pro Line, uh, Pro Line shock. The lengths are pretty similar. Um, a lot of people with a short wheelbase like to actually mount the shock um, up on up here into this screw hole and into that screw hole. Uh, to give it just sort of like a lower um, center of gravity, I'm assuming for racing. I'm not too concerned with that. I just kind of want it. I want it to look like a freaking monster truck, right? So the higher off the ground, I can kind of get it. I don't care if it pitches, whatever. Um, I do kind of think though that it would be really sweet to have four wheel steer. Uh, what kind of monster truck would it be if it didn't have four wheel steer? So I'm gonna have to order up. Um, different axles here and get some more um, C hubs and steering knuckles and get a whole other steering system uh, and get another steering servo and set up my remote so that I can uh, on a switch maybe not on a switch but like on a knob um, it would actually be really cool if you could um, control the four wheel steer at the same time um, as, uh, as you're, you know, you can steer with one hand, but then it's cool if the other hand is doing the, the backward, the, the rear, not so, so you're not switching between like crab and 
um, and parallel, you're just like, you're actually controlling the rear like they would in a real monster truck. I mean, I think they do with a hydraulic switch and they just kind of hit the switch and it turns one way and then they let go and it centers itself again. Um, I don't want to do that, but uh, it would be cool to be able to just like totally control a four-way steer, four-way steer. So that's just sort of the plan right now. Um, it's getting there, the wiring's all done. Um, I'm gonna mount all the shocks. I'm using 45 weight, which might be a little bit, a little bit too much. Probably should be using like a 30 or a 25, but this is what I have on hand. So I'm gonna try it out, and uh, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Who cares? But I can already tell that the Proline shock is just so much smoother. So I'm gonna go with those. And plus, they look cooler because they look more aggressive. But look at the size difference. You know. Anyway, I'm bleeding another one. Uh, I'm letting all the air bubbles out so I can get a nice smooth action, and uh, and I'll move on from there. Yeah, so wicked. So I'm gonna quickly get these wheels on, and then I'm gonna go paint the little dude, the driver. And uh, after that, I gotta clean up the sty in here. It's like it's become quite the mess in here, and uh, I gotta clean it up. I gotta clean it up, and then I'm gonna do some beauty shots of it. And then I'm going to try to edit this video out um, because I got to get a video out this weekend. And then I'm going to get on probably tomorrow. I'm going to start uh, sanding more of the um, neighbor project. And I think because I'm waiting on a few things in the mail for that project, I'm going to pretty much try to do the body to this weekend. So try to get it painted white and start to figure out how I'm going to paint uh, the lights and, and like the grill and stuff. Yeah, and mount maybe potentially mount the, the police bar at the top as well so permanently which would be great but yeah okay so onward i'll see you guys in a bit um beauty shots probably once i get this all done sweet Yes, that's it for this episode of K-Pop RC. Uh, check it out. I am just, I just threw on this body that I had sitting around and I think this is gonna be the bashing body. This is the body that I'm gonna use for the running video that I'm gonna shoot uh, probably when there's snow on the ground because it'll be easier to build cool hits um, to get this thing to freestyle like I want it to. So this is gonna be the body that definitely is the one that I run it on. Um, as for uh, the Shelf Queen body, that I'm printing right now. Uh, I'll get an update on that later because um, there's quite a few things I have to fix with the model that I'm printing, but uh, I'm gonna just like wait with that until later. But yeah, how sick is that? Thanks a lot for hanging out. Um, let's see, uh, should I give away some seats? I should probably give away some seats. And this episode's seat giveaway winner is Kevin Klein, thanks for hanging out with me on that live chat. Uh, you definitely caught a couple of big mistakes that I was making while putting together the um, SMT-10. So appreciate you and uh, thanks for hanging out. Um, I think I messaged you on Instagram. Check your Instagram messages so I can connect and I can send you that the, a pair of those seats. Wicked. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me. Uh, join me live tomorrow if you want. Uh, just gonna be hanging out, hopefully with no delay. And uh, yeah, Wicked, stay safe out there. And uh, yeah, K-pop out.